From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Monday, May 13th of 2024. I'm Amy Rose, and this is what's going on. The Pennington County State's Attorney's Office says it has dismissed the murder charges against 22-year-old Dwayne Sierra. They say that's due to a recent ruling suppressing Sierra's confession to police and a key witness's refusal to cooperate. Sierra was accused of the shooting death of Serena Spider in May of last year. The state's attorney's office says there is still the possibility of refilling charges if new evidence is uncovered. A group of volunteers joined with members of the Rapid City Arts Council over the weekend to clean up Art Alley downtown, paving the way for new murals. Here's Gary Matthews with the details. Since its inception in the early 2000s, Art Alley has been a cherished space for artists, locals, and tourists alike. Each year, the Arts Council undertakes a cleaning effort, which does sometimes include painting over of older murals to make room for newer ones. This year, the group did prepping for seven different murals, with the community invited to participate in the process. In national and international news, U.S. officials issued strong cautions on Sunday against an Israeli insurgent into Rafah, warning that a significant ground assault in the southern Gaza City would result in extensive civilian casualties, incite a Hamas uprising, and create a void that the militant group would later attempt to exploit. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and White House National Secretary Advisor Jake Sullivan sounded the alarm after President Joe Biden issued a warning last week, stating that an Israeli move into Rafah would prompt him to halt certain arms shipments. Both Blinken and Sullivan reiterated that Biden's decision was based on his reluctance to see American weaponry deployed in what he anticipated would be a violent and unwise operation. According to the UN, at least 360,000 individuals have fled Rafah in anticipation of Israel's impending invasion. Ukraine's chief general has indicated a marked deterioration in the situation in the northern Kharkiv region following Russia's assertion of capturing more villages, thus expanding its unexpected incursion across the border. The exact objective behind Russia's recent advancement, initiated late last week, remains uncertain. It could aim to establish a buffer zone to diminish Ukrainian offenses into Russian territory or potentially prepare for a renewed attack on the nearby city of Kharkiv, situated less than 20 miles to the south. Moscow's defense ministry reports Russia's purported control over nine Ukrainian border villages northeast of Kharkiv. And the U.S. South faces the imminent threat of flash flooding this week as another series of intense storms soak already saturated terrain, notably in parts of Texas, where extensive rescue operations were conducted in heavy rainfall last week. Over 13 million individuals are under flood watches from today through Tuesday, spanning from central Texas to the Florida Panhandle, encompassing regions fatigued by recent rainfall just north of Houston. Multiple rounds of rain have pummeled the south in recent days, with severe storms traversing Texas and extending into Louisiana on Sunday. These storms brought sizable hail, prompting tornado watches and flash flood warnings issued by the National Weather Service. And your local weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center, sunny and a chance of showers into late this afternoon, highs of 77, with 53 and overnight showers expected. That was your Daily Slice for Monday, May 13th of 2024. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by Amy Rose with Gary Matthews, executive producer Mark Houston, engineered by Chris Jackwes. I'm Amy Rose. Have a great day.